When communities of African Americans are broadcast in the media, it's often the poorest areas that get the most airtime. But in reality, many black people live in neighborhoods that are among the richest in the country. And these aren't neighborhoods with mostly white people. These communities are majority black populations with high median household incomes. With all that said, here are some of the richest black areas in the country. Number 10, Wheatley Heights, New York. Wheatley Heights is a suburb of New York City. It has a population of about 4,942. Most of the residents own their own homes. The people that primarily live there are young professionals and families. The schools in the area are among the best in the city. It's one of the safest communities in the New York City area, and you're close to restaurants, parks, and stores. Most residents feel safe here and encounter friendly people who say hello when walking by. By all accounts, if you're looking for a good place to live in New York City, this is the place to be. 52% of the population is black, and the median household income is 110000 Number 9. Olympia Fields, Illinois Olympia Fields is a suburb of part of the Chicago metro area, with a population of about 4,821. It's home to a lot of retirees. While Chicago tends to get a bad reputation for crime, this area is considered a safe community. Residents describe the area as quiet with a lot of parks. A lot of the African Americans living in this neighborhood are college educated. You should be aware that you'll likely need a car to get around and it's not the most walk-friendly area. Neighbors have been described as friendly and welcoming. 73% of the residents are black and the median household income is around $119,000. Number 8. Sherwood Forest, Michigan Almost half the residents in Sherwood Forest have a master's degree or higher. That should tell you all you need to know about how rich the community is. Sherwood Forest is a suburb of part of the Detroit metro area. Over two-thirds of the entire community has a college degree. The population is about 2,214, and the median home value is about $329,000. If you can afford a home in the area, renting isn't too bad either with a median rent about $921. The community is described as having an urban feel. The houses in the area have a nice to old time look to them. About 78% of the population is black and the median household income is 125,000. Number seven, Mitchellville, Maryland. The first of many entries from Maryland on this list is Mitchellville. It's a suburb of part of the Washington, D.C. area with a population of about 11,547. Mitchellville is a part of the Prince George County, which is well known for having many rich black communities. Residents describe the area as having a real community feel to it. One person said as their dad was working on a patio, some neighbors came by and helped him finish it in a few days. Wherever you are in Mitchellville, you won't be far from a shopping center or a school. The black population in Mitchellville is 84%, and the median household income is $125,000. Number 6. Highland Beach, Maryland The story of Highland Beach, Maryland is pretty interesting. Charles Douglas, the son of well-known abolitionist Frederick Douglas, was turned away from a restaurant at the Bay Ridge Resort. When he encountered the Brashear family, he found out they owned some land in the area. He purchased two-thirds of it with help from his dad, and the area would become known as Highland Beach. It would attract a lot of educated blacks. Many of the residents there today are descendants of the original settlers. The black population is around 53%, and the median household income is about 131,000. Number five, Bowie, Maryland. Bowie is a suburb of Washington, DC with a population of about 58,400. It's another area that's a part of the wealthy Prince George County. Most residents have described the area as having great schools and low crime. Some residents say that the area can have some heavy traffic at times. Overall, people view the city as a family-friendly community. The job market is pretty good and the housing prices aren't considered to be that expensive. The black population is about 53% and the median household income is $132,000. Number 4. Ladera Heights, California Ladera Heights is a suburb of Los Angeles with a population of about 6,620. The area features a lot of parks 
coffee shops, and restaurants. It's home to a lot of retirees, and the schools are considered to be above average. This area is considered to be a part of the well-known Black Beverly Hills. Some famous residents who've lived in this neighborhood include actress Vanessa Williams and former professional basketball player Lisa Leslie. Owning a home here will typically cost you around a million dollars, and rent will cost you around two thousand dollars. The black population is about seventy-two percent, and the black median household income is about one hundred thirty-four thousand. Number three, Lakeview, New York. Lakeview is a suburb of New York City with a population of about six thousand one hundred. It's considered to have a more rural feel compared to other suburbs in the city. The area has bars, parks, coffee shops, and restaurants. A house in this area will cost you around three hundred seventy-nine thousand, or if you choose to rent, it'll cost you around twenty-seven hundred. Over ninety percent of the residents own their own homes. Residents describe the area as a small community that's family-friendly, walkable. And peaceful. It's not too far from Buffalo if you want to take a trip there. The black population is about seventy-nine percent, and the median household income is around one hundred forty-six thousand. Number two, Fairwood, Maryland. Fairwood is a suburb of Washington D.C. that has a population of about six thousand two hundred. It's the third city on this list, located in Prince George County. Homes in this area cost around five hundred fourteen thousand. And rent will cost you around twenty nine hundred. As far as entertainment activities, you aren't far from Six Flags and the Bowie Town Center. It's considered a quiet, safe community with decent schools. The black population is around seventy nine percent, and the median household income is around one hundred sixty three thousand. And number one, Brock Hall, Maryland. Brock Hall is the fourth city on our list, located in Prince George County. It's a suburb of Washington D.C. and the population is about twelve thousand one hundred. The neighborhood has a lot of parks in the area and is considered to have a sparse suburban feel. The area is home to a lot of young professionals and families. A house in this community will cost you around four hundred twenty-six thousand, or if you rent, it will cost you around twenty-one hundred. Much like the other cities from Prince George County, it's conveniently close to a lot of major cities and attractions that you or your family could enjoy. The black population is around eighty-nine percent, and the median household income is around one hundred sixty-six thousand. These were the wealthiest black communities in America. Are there any cities left out of this list? Let us know in the comments. Feel free to share this video and subscribe to our channel. This is Top Tips, tipping you off.